Ma'am, please identify the media that you represent. Uh, it's too soon to say anything. Um, I'd like to talk about <coughs> projects only once I know for a fact that I'm doing them. Uh, because I think it's a bit unfair sometimes when, uh, for whatever reason, things don't work out. And then the round, uh, you know, then uh, there's unnecessary reporting of this one was offered it, but this one is doing it. And uh, it just gets messy unnecessarily. So we'll talk about it. Uh, I'll talk about the films that um, I'm doing for sure. So what I'm doing next is Imtiaz Ali's. Next, with Ranbir. Yeah, continue with this, Deepika. Yeah, I'm uh, just must say that I'm really excited to see someone taller than you. <laughs> <laughs> Deepika, uh, Deepika, continue with Imtiaz Ali. Is that right news that you have uh, Imtiaz Ali, I mean, Ranbir ki uh, film ke liye aapne Salman ki filmi, uh, film, Suraj Bhardadiya ki film ko na kar diya hai. Is that right? Uh, no, not at all. I've been uh, I've been on board Imtiaz's uh, film for the last one year now, so uh, there's definitely uh, that piece of news that you have is not true. Okay, and ma'am, you have to identify uh, the media. What is happening with that film? You'll have to ask Suraj Ji. I have no idea. But there were reports of you walking out of the film. There were reports. I never said that. Uh, Deepika, you are looking absolutely stunning. Oh, I would like to know what you, I mean, who are you wearing tonight? I'm wearing me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing. Uh, um, do I tell you the clothes, the designer? Or do I tell you who I styled? Yeah, the designer. Me? Yeah. I've been styled by Anita Shroff, and I'm wearing Zara. Uh, last one question. I think Jitesh will answer that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jitesh, you should take that. Do you want my reply to that? I don't think, uh, no really, I don't think I'm anybody to comment on uh, what other people should be doing or should not be doing. I personally don't endorse it, uh, but each to his own. I, you know, I think if it works for some people, then great. Uh, I personally have never endorsed uh, anything that is not natural. Hello. Hi, Deepika Bhavna, this side from Z News. Hi. Uh, in Bollywood, mein, uh, actors who are producers and are profit sharing. Karte hai. Uh, being an actress, uh, there are many films that have come to actors single-handedly uh, at a very good level. Do you think that heroines of Bollywood will also do profit sharing or do you What do you think? <laughs> since you are a producer. Uh, yeah, I've been sharing profit since I started working in movies. So I'm, I'm very happy to do it. Um, <clears throat> I think it's, I, th I, I think it'll depend, uh, project to project. I think it'll depend on who, uh, I think it's fair. Yeah. You know, I think, uh, if, if, uh, I think if we've reached a stage now where the guys get uh, a profit share, I don't see why the girls should not. So you're planning to do so? Are you planning for any next future projects of yours? Something no, like but now that you've, uh, planted the, uh, the thought in my mind, I will definitely, uh, Think about it. Or you give your number, there will be a lot of producers who will be able to get All the best, Deepika. That's it. Okay, one last question, please. Deepika, hi. Deepika. Deepika, hi. This is Shama Bhagat. I'm a freelancer. Yes. Uh, recently, you went, to, went with a teenager fan of yours to the <laughs> Film Fair Awards. Uh, could you tell us how you chose her and what made you choose this girl? Uh, thank you. you for asking me that question, actually. Um, I don't know. You know, I always felt that, um, in, uh, the, that, the, that our fans play a very, very important uh, uh, part in, in our lives and, and in the whatever little success that we have achieved. And in our journey, I think our fans are a very, very important part of that. And I've always felt that when actors uh, win awards, we thank them. Uh, but I wanted to to do something special for them. Um, 
I, I get the opportunity very, very rarely to do something for my fans, and I thought that uh, by taking someone along, um, I thought that that was my way of thanking my fans for, for standing by me over the last couple of years, and Jitesh and the entire Filmfare team was very kind enough to allow me to do that. Um, and it made her day. Uh, she hasn't stopped calling and messaging me ever since. She's very, very happy. And uh, I'm glad that I've been, uh, you know, in, in, in a small way, been able to make someone happy. And uh, that was really just my way of thanking all my fans. Uh, it was just a random pick, yeah. There was no uh, thought behind it, really. I think uh, uh, we just kind of uh, had different people uh, who we had in mind, and she was free and she was happy to come along. So, uh, yeah. How much interest do I take in the chemistry? <laughs> <laughs> that the huh. No, your question is very confusing. You're asking me about <laughs> Do I what is your question? Is it about casting? I think chemistry should be relevant to the film at that point. Um, I think uh, uh, what was important for uh, Ranveer and me is the fact that we have um, uh, good chemistry in a film like Ram Leela, which is an adaptation of Romeo and Juliet. It is a love story. It was a very intense, passionate love story, and you need that kind of chemistry. And it worked for the film. So I think for me, that's all that, uh, that's all that matters. And um, do I have a say in that? No, not at all. I think you can't create chemistry. Uh, and I, I, I don't think a director can really direct chemistry. I think chemistry is what actors bring uh, uh, to their characters and to the film and in the comfort level that, that they share. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not there, but I believe that you can't create it. Thank you, Thank you everyone. <laughs> Let's finish this, I need to...